Hi you guys! I just wanted to take a few minutes in this video to share with you why I chose Gordon-Conwell to be the place I would study for my Master of Divinity degree. There are a lot of great seminaries out there, but one thing that I believe sets Gordon-Conwell apart can be summed up in the word diversity. Diversity in a lot of different areas. First would be the theological diversity of the school. I loved, loved, loved that this was an interdenominational school. I loved that I would have professors who were from the Baptist setting. I loved that I would have professors who were from the Presbyterian setting, uh, from the Charismatic stream. I loved that I was going to hear from other parts of the body of Christ because frankly, I've been raised charismatic, been a charismatic, you know, Pentecostal, spirit-filled, a lot of people call it different things, but I've been in the charismatic world my entire life, and I didn't want to go to a school that would teach me how to think like a charismatic. I already know how to think like a charismatic. I already know how they view the scriptures. I already know their pet scriptures and their pet doctrines, and so I didn't want to just have that reinforced. I wanted to be challenged, and I knew that rubbing shoulders with other people in the body of Christ who are from other streams within the body of Christ. I knew that that was going to challenge me, that it was going to force me to look at the scriptures with fresh lens. I knew that it was going to cause me to get alone with the Lord and reevaluate some things, and it certainly did that. At Gordon-Conwell, you know, I had professors you know, across the board, landing, you know, in different places theologically as far as like infant baptism versus believer's baptism and the things of the Spirit and, you know, you could go down item by item of where people land on, on different topics and different subjects in Scripture. And I just valued hearing all of those different perspectives and, and allowing myself to be challenged in that way. And I believe a lot of us in the church have been taught to see our own church, our own pastor, our own denomination as God's final say on the truth. And that simply isn't true. You know, we all have a part to play in the body of Christ. And we all have our flaws as far as the denominations go. No denomination is perfect, but I believe every denomination has its strengths and every denomination has places where it is seeing scripture so clearly where maybe the rest of us should lend an ear and learn a thing or two. And so Gordon Conwell created an environment where I could do that and where I could be exposed to more. And it served to only sharpen some things in me that I already held dear as far as some things regarding theology and you know the, the ways that I view certain passages of scripture but it also caused me to reevaluate some things and to walk away with some new things deposited in me that I wouldn't have had any other way if I had just stayed in my same comfortable world of you know the charismatic stream so it's also a diverse community of people that was another piece of diversity that I really appreciated about Gordon-Conwell is, frankly, um, I, I had signed up for classes at a different seminary about four years before I actually got to start my studies at Gordon-Conwell. And when I went for orientation, I immediately had my first red flag because I was one of the only women, there might have been one other woman and like 40 or 50 men at orientation and it was all white, middle-class men. And I knew that that type of community just wasn't what I was looking for. It does not represent the full picture of the body of Christ. The body of Christ is diverse. I mean, think about the global church. Um, there are a lot of different skin tones, and there are a lot of different cultures. There are a lot of different traditions and ways of worshiping and and I wanted that diversity represented in the school that I attended. And so that is something that Gordon Conwell was very strong in as well. It's, you know, it was empowering of women. I wasn't going to be one of two women uh, in the MDiv program. And, and they allowed me to have the same track in my MDiv studies as the male track. That was something that I didn't find out until pretty late in my studies is that 
a lot of a lot of other seminaries they will allow women to come study but they adjust the curriculum as uh, particularly for the MDiv they'll adjust the curriculum and women are kind of kept out of certain places of coursework and that too is something that I just I did not want in my experience of seminary I, I wanted the same track that anyone else would take I didn't want anything watered down or made easier for me because I'm a woman and Gordon Conwell provided that and I had classmates from literally all over the world I had so many skin tones represented there were lots of women you know it was not the white middle-class male you know stereotype of so many seminaries and I, I deeply valued that it added to my learning it challenged me when people have come from different places in life different places in the world they bring a perspective that my white southern American self would not be exposed to otherwise and so all of that to say uh, that can pretty much be summed up in the word diversity I really valued the diversity that Gordon Conwell offered and it allowed me to sharpen my my tools add to the tools in my tool belt in the midst of making friends with people from all over the body of Christ and being challenged by them, getting out of my comfort zone, getting out of the realm of the familiar, and and allowing the Lord to teach me through that and bring new treasures back into my world of the charismatic stream and to become more balanced in so many ways and to have just new things opened to my life, my heart, my life of faith that I could not have received any other way. So if you are looking for a place to attend school and, and look into things of theology and ministry and whatnot, I cannot recommend Gordon Conwell enough. I believe it is a rare gem among seminaries and that it's, you're, it's unrivaled in the level of education you'll receive and the diverse community that you'll receive that education in. So. That's my plug for Gordon Conwell. I hope you'll consider it.